Hello, how is it going everyone? Hopefully your morning is going great today. So I'm here with the Levi Aaron hello. Edwards. Hello, hello. 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 <laughs> yeah. Just and uh, and we're gonna show you we're gonna show you a way to to make your website load super fast on mobile. And it's gonna get it's gonna get a little bit technical. So if you wanna like pull up your laptop and yeah. pull up your website while we're doing this, like that would be That's a right. good idea. Cause yeah. Because we're going to show you, we're going to show you in depth how to do this. Because uh, a few weeks ago we talked about something called AMP, and which is, do you want to explain what AMP is? Yeah, so AMP pages, AMP stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages, and essentially it's just a drip down, lightning fast version of your website delivered to mobile uh, mobile devices. And so Google and Twitter and the other networks can see these AMP pages and deliver them. Um, in certain in certain cases and so really it's kind of a at this point it's almost kind of a hack to get on top of the search results because Google's favoring these AMP pages and kind of gives you a little boost that that wasn't even there before so kind of yeah. cool yeah Rami is celebrating your return yeah, yeah Rami what's up so so if if you have anyone uh, in, that follows you that has a website <sighs> Feel free to, to share this with them. This will be yeah. super useful for them. We're gonna go we're gonna go in depth and show you just exactly what you can do to do that. Um, so we're gonna take you to this screen right here, where um, and by the way by the way if um, if you want like a full like lowdown on everything that we talk about in this scope. Um, the, if you go into netmark.com slash Periscope, we have like the article down here. So I'll show you exactly where it's at. And so anytime we have these scopes, you can, you can check the replay and you can also see the recent blog post. So we have this blog post that goes along with this scope, um, where you can get all the different resources that we talk about today and just the links. So you don't have to like write it down. Awesome time. Yesterday's scope. Yeah. Yesterday's scope was great. Nice. Man. Um, okay. So man, props. Cool. So let's just dive right in then. So we talked about um, AMP pages. AMP pages are speedy, speedy, fast pages. And if you look up at the top, this little, uh, this actually this icon right here, anytime you see this icon next to a search result uh, on your mobile browser, it means that the, the page is a verified AMP page. So hey, let's, let's talk about what that means. So like, yeah. why, why, do, why should people care to, to, I mean, like, given like it does, oh, good topic today. Hey, oh, thanks. Um, yeah, so with uh, with the AMP page, like, why should they care to actually go through all this work? Because this is going to be a little bit of a little bit of effort to uh, yeah to go on. Sometimes do it can be a little bit of effort if you have a WordPress site. It's a really easy way to do this, but it is really important, especially if you have a blog or some sort of informational site. You want to get information out there. Doing this to your site, creating the AMP page, makes it so that it loads extremely fast. On mobile phones so if people are in a place with kind of a poor connection whatever it's gonna it's gonna load super fast and because of that Google favors it as an accelerated page they're saying this is the content you need here something's gonna load really fast we know that it's everything's gonna be exactly what you want so essentially it's like a huge boost in SEO um, mm -hmm. for for mobile searches and so to get started there's kind of some different markup that you have to use and so what kind of how it works is you have your regular page and this at this point in time, AMP is kind of new. It's kind of it's kind of fresh, and they're still being built out a little bit. But it's at this point in time, it's more targeted towards blogs, blog posts, news outlets, things like that. And so, what you're going to do is you have, let's say, you created a blog post, and in fact, didn't you just create this blog post? Yeah. So we we just created a blog post. We're going to show you actually how this works. Yeah. So here we have a blog post that Bruce just published like ten minutes ago, literally. And yeah. So you'll see <laughs> this version of the page. This is what you. And um, this is what will load. I mean, this same URL. Look at it. So netmark.com slash the URL to this blog. Um, and so an AMP page it strips down all the stuff on the side, the nav bar, all the like fancy styling and everything. And it just gives you the content that you want. It's just, mm -hmm. here's the text that you need. And so to achieve that, you have to actually create a separate HTML page and give it AMP markup. And I know that kind of seems a little bit redundant, like why, why do you want duplicate content? But Google has taken this all into account. So, so what you would start okay. doing on a site that isn't WordPress, we'll get to WordPress afterwards. I just want to show you the basic HTML structure of a site. Um, so let's say that you have an HTML site, PHP, whatever it's coded, and, and you're ready to make your AMP page. So what you would do 
is you would essentially take all the text that you want from that regular page. So if we look at this, you want all this text, you want the images and everything, but you want it to load freaky fast. And so AMP has specific tags that they give you. And there's a little walkthrough you can do on... Um, okay, so so we're taking... So essentially we're taking the text from the blog post and then we're putting it into to new HTML. Yeah, right? you're making okay. a new page. Like okay. a brand new HTML page. So let's say you have your HTML page. It's all styled. It's got all fancy, fancy, fancy stuff. Now you want to strip down just the content that is relevant. And you're going to put that inside of your AMP page. And if you go to ampproject.org, there's a little create your first AMP page uh, right here. Create your first AMP page. You just click on this. It'll walk you right through it. So they're saying here's a good place to start with some HTML. You grab this code and you just start customizing it to meet your needs. And so I've done this in a workspace on Cloud9, this is the same code. I just added my own image and some text on it. So this, this is AMP content. You can see here that there's certain tags, especially Im images. You, you don't want to use a regular image tag in AMP. You want to use the AMP image tag. And this is because of the way AMP handles images. So typically, when an image loads on your website, have you seen when when you go with something on your phone and the content loads and you're reading something, but then it like jumps down a little bit because the image finally loaded. And so you're trying to chase the content across the page. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't happen with AMP because with AMP, you need to give the image dimensions. And so right, now, right here it says 400 by 800 and it knows to allocate this much space on the page for that image and load everything else. So even if your image takes a little longer to load, the layout is already there. So, which is really sweet. Yeah, so essentially like what AMP is doing is like restricting like the amount or like the ways that you can put in HTML or like... Yeah, well they've just come up with a really, really streamlined way to load content. Mm -hmm. And so this is kind of what, what they've done. And so um, I was talking about the different tags that are AMP specific. And so these are built-in components included in the base library. So, so it says right here, um, there's the AMP image, the AMP video, AMP pixel. And so... The way AMP is structured, this stuff is already built in to maximize, um, I mean, this makes it really, really easy to create these AMP pages. And so same with the layouts. They have different, let's go through the steps. Step two, include an image. So here's the image tag that gives you see where it says AMP image instead of just image. And then same thing with presentation and layout. They have these um, layout tags that you can add to make your layouts. And of course, if you're if you're really like code savvy, you want to get in here, go through this tutorial and um, essentially just read up on it. It's really simple to learn. But for the sake of time, I've, cr I've taken the code that they did, I grabbed an image, I put it in here and I'll show you what this, uh, what this looks like. Um, let's just open this link. Um, so right now it's nothing fancy, um, but this is an AMP page. And it loads freaky, freaky fast. So, so let's let's go. So you you put it into your text editor, which is Cloud Nine. Yeah. And so if people are using WordPress and wanted to hard code it, like they would just go into to the text side of it and then put it. So in for there. WordPress, it's a little bit more tricky because there's a lot going on inside of WordPress. Um, okay. There are a couple good plugins that make it really simple, and you can set it up in about ten minutes. And I'm actually going to set it up on Netmark.com so that. Um, you can just see how it's done, and then I, our blog post will be live. Okay. <laughs> so, so essentially, what you're doing with Cloud Nine is if if you have a website that's like built off of or like is yeah, if you've coded there. your website and there's no CMS or anything, then you're gonna you're gonna this is really really you're important. Go to you. that. Okay. You're gonna create a separate HTML page, and you're gonna tell Google that it's associated with your other page. So that's the other that's the other part here is when once you have your layout and the image and everything responsive, then what you're going to want to do is preview and validate it. So you can take this development one first. You add this to the end of your URL up here. So you just add development one just like that. And then you can inspect the element. And then the console will tell you success. This page is powered by AMP. And if anything's wrong, if your markup, if you use an image tag instead of the AMP image tag, it'll tell you right here, it'll have a warning that says that whatever the warning is and you have to fix that. Otherwise, the AMP page doesn't qualify. It doesn't meet Google's criteria. It will not show up in the mobile search results. So it's really, really important to just validate your page, make sure that it is AMP ready. And then once that's done, um, they recommend just adding your link. So on your original HTML page, you want to add this saying that the AMP HTML exists at this URL and inside of your AMP page, you want to add a canonical tag saying this content is the same as this original URL. That way you don't get hit for duplicate content. And then that's all it takes.
publish it, and then it'll start going out through Google, Twitter, through different networks, and it'll start showing up on AMP pages. Um, one thing that I do want to mention, though, we talked about the AMP carousel last time. I want to pull this up. Um, so if we just Google, I'll say Google Pixel. I know. I've looked at that one before. <laughs> So I don't know how easy it is to see this, but there's this uh, AMP carousel right here. And so these are all AMP pages. You can see right on the bottom, right there. It's really hard to see right here because it's not focusing. Uh -huh. But right there, that's the lightning bolt. It says AMP. All of these are AMP pages, and they group together similar pages. So to get in that carousel, you actually have to add this um, this schema, the schema code, which is part of the, the default template that they, that they gave us. Um, but you just have to say, this is a news article, and then Google will see it, and it will start putting it in the carousel, which is really sweet. So um, let's go ahead and just set this up on network.com and show you how this works on WordPress. So there are a couple plugins that you're going to want. Let's go to plugins, add new. Luckily, someone has made this really, really simple. Oh, for adding plugins? Yeah. So, okay, click Add Plugin and just search for AMP. So, this one right here on the top, this is an AMP plugin from WordPress specifically. And you can use this one alone to make a really, really simple um, AMP page for all of your blog posts. Right now, they don't work for pages, but they only work for blog posts. I know they're working on pages, um, but and then this one right here is the one that gives you more customization. So you start by installing this one. It's called AMP4WP. That's installing right now. What's up, WP Sunshine? Welcome, welcome. On. welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you if you're just joining on right now, we are showing you the way to uh, to be able to make your page speed load faster. Um, yeah. And it's it's something called AMP, which is a uh, so accelerated that, mobile pages. Yeah, accelerated yeah. mobile pages, and like this, this really helps to to be able to to make your your page go uh, faster. And so we're we're showing how to to install it in WordPress, um, and and particularly like is is focused on mobile content, like loading mobile content, mobile or lightning fast. So we're we're showing yeah. how to install that plugin. So once you install that uh, first plugin, it's going to tell you action is required. Install this other one. So you click on that. And it takes you, it says you need to install the default WordPress AMP plugin first. So you just install that. And then uh, at that point, it's set up. That's all. I mean, we'll do some customization, but it's ready. And so um, now to see your AMP pages, all you have to do, let's go back to that, um, that blog post. Slash Periscope. Some blog. So here's the uh, the AMP tutorial blog that Bruce just created, and so you're seeing we're here. We still see the main page. This isn't an AMP page. Um, to see the AMP page, what you do is at the end of the URL, you put question mark AMP. Uh, you gotta spell AMP right though. A M P. That's all. That's all those okay. words. So here is the AMP page, stripped down version of that of, I mean, the exact same content. It's just your images, the text, and some social share related posts, but really, really simple. It's gonna load the lightning fast. And so um, you can you can navigate, or you can customize like, so the colors and stuff. So all you gotta do is stuff, install the plugin and it yeah, just did all that? All of the blog posts on netbox.com now have an AMP version. And so, of course, <laughs> That's like, a lot Google, simpler than the code. Yeah, then go and make it yeah, a separate yeah. page for each, of course, yeah. Yeah, so so again, like if, if you're interested in that, like we've got the link to the plugin on uh, Netmark's page, so uh, on netmark.com slash periscope, so. Yeah, and so what I wanted to do was actually run a test for both of the pages, the AMP page and the regular page, and see how much faster it actually is. Uh, so here is the URL. Without the AMP page, let's put it in GT metrics. And then while this loads, we'll take the AMP URL. Uh, another window here. Let's test this one. We'll get a side by side comparison of how uh, much speed you can actually save by activating these AMP pages. 
Yeah, so if you've seen GT GT Metrics before, it's it's just basically a, a site that analyzes what your page is doing, or like analyzes how fast it loads. Yeah, and it actually takes reports from a couple of different places. <laughs> you got page speed, you got Y slow. Okay, so this uh, page load time was about six point six seconds. See if this one's done yet, and this one's two point nine seconds. Yeah, so that's so about twice. As took fast. it from a D to a B. So yeah. I think anybody. <laughs> yeah, that's twice that as fast. Great hike. <laughs> Exactly. So it's definitely, definitely a lot faster and it does make a big difference. You know, it really does. Um, it's really, really simple to set up. You can go ahead and customize some of the settings in here. If you come down to the amp settings, uh, you can change some colors, you can change menus, uh, you can change the social share, like what shows up. Because right now, if you don't want someone to share it on WhatsApp, turn that off, activate Facebook, you'll just need a uh, an app ID. But... Yeah, I mean, it's really, really straightforward, especially with WordPress. What, I, what I'm not sure about at this point is how this associates with that AMP carousel that I showed mm -hmm. you. Uh, I reached, actually reached out to the developers of this plugin with that question. If we have to add that schema code, I don't know. But, but yeah, really, really simple with this plugin. I, I know I looked into this about two months ago, and this option wasn't even available. So this is pretty, <laughs> pretty new. Yeah. And you might as well take advantage of it. I mean, it's... It's a pretty pretty uh, good way to get to the top of the search results. Not tons of people know about it right now. Yeah, that is. So that's to kind of to kind of recap some of what we talked about. So if you go onto the to the blog post onto the AMP tutorial one, we've got a link to the site, uh, which will take you to the uh, the Google like the Go the AMP Project org page, which gives you like a step by step tutorial to. To installing it if you don't have a WordPress site, and then if you have a WordPress site, then you get the fast pass and you can just go put a WordPress plugin in, and then your life yeah. is great. Then your life is that's great. so much better. <laughs> yeah, way easier. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, you're just intimidated by code, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see where my window go. This one. Yeah. So it's okay. just just a little bit of code down. There. Oh, so actually, I wanted to validate and make sure that this is actually working because I haven't actually validated this. So let's. Um, let's, where did that validation code go? It's going to be right here. Yeah. So we add this to the bottom of the end of the URL. And that's like hashtag developer one. Or hashtag development equals one. And once that's there, then in the development console, it will tell you if you pass or not. Uh, let's make sure we don't have any errors. Um, right here. Powered by AMP. HTML version, yada, yada. Boom. It's that simple. So netmark.com now has AMP pages set up, and you watched it happen. That's how yeah. easy it was. Yeah. That's, that's how true. easy it is, you know, and it's really, really worth it. I'd say do it. So, uh, yeah, go go on today. Go check that out. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So that's, that's how you do AMP pages, and thanks, everybody, that watched today, and we will talk with you all again soon. So Thanks.